Hello my friends, thanks for stopping by. Hope you're all having a great day. Uh, today I'm going to do my empties for January. I don't have a whole lot because I was in Florida for the first seven days of January. Um, I did a lot of masking down there. I actually did save the packages but forgot to bring them back. So I will quickly go through this and perhaps a face of the day. Okay? Alright, so first off, oh I was going to, oh, I think I'd read it. Okay, I was going to get my magnifier just in case I couldn't read it, but we'll go. We'll see how we can do. I finished a Dr. Bronner's Magic Soap, and this is in the Unscented Baby. This is what I clean my brushes with. I use Dr. Bronner's soap for everything. Um, I use them on my MAC brushes, my Real Technique, my uh, Sigma brushes. I use them on all the brushes I have. Every brush I have, I use this. I think nothing cleans them deep clean um, them better than this okay and it has nothing harmful in it so it can't ruin your brushes the next thing I went through is uh, a bar a bioderma creoline uh, my most favorite eye makeup remover I mean this is talked to death on YouTube and there's a reason for it um, I get mine from Joelle but you can buy there is a a uh, store called myessentialsnewyork.com. There's a, web, a blog, or it's like a little store. It's like a pharmacy, a high-end pharmacy, and they carry all French products, okay? So this is a really, really great makeup remover. Okay, I finished a La Roche Posay Lipicar Huel. It is, um, it's a uh, daily use shower and bath gel. It's paraben free. This is really, really nice. It had a very green smell to it. I've had it for a while. I have a lot of shower gels, so I like to dabble a little bit every day with a different one. But it has a very green smell. Uh, all of my French products are sent to me from Joelle, just so you know. But they can be purchased online. Just make sure you find a good company. Uh, again, I really liked this. It left my skin very moisturized. Okay, the next thing I finished was another one of my Tom's Wicked Fresh Cool Mountain Mint uh, mouthwash. It is the only one I can use because if I use regular mouthwash, it's, it's so harsh that it actually peels a layer of my skin and then I have, it's gross. Uh, and someone had said that they changed the formula. Yes, they did. And the old formula was much better, but um, I still use it. And you can find this at Target and grocery stores and Walmart, I believe. Okay. The next thing I finished was a La Roche Posay uh, Physiological Ultra Fine Scrub for sensitive skin. Really liked this. I do feel that sensitive skin users could uh, use this because the grains are very rounded, they're not harsh. And that's what makes a scrub too much for sensitive skin. It is in your own hand from aggressively uh, exfoliating and using too harsh a granule. This is really, really nice. I really liked it. Would get it again. I finished a tube of uh, one of my most favorite cream masks, and I have gone through these one of these before. This is the Black Rose Cream Mask Instant Youth Smoothing Plumping brightener. I love this as my morning mask or an all-night sleep-in mask. Just beautiful. It's really, really Sicily's best mask. Okay. The next thing I finished was some little sample bottles that I had of the Super Rich Color Proof Evolved Color Care Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, I had purchased little sample bottles to try before to make sure I liked it because it's very pricey. I do like this a lot. I don't like the smooth line as much as I like the super rich. Um, also, uh, I was going to say something else about this, but it escaped me. Okay, well, it's gone. Well, I like these and I did purchase them at, to try at first and I, I have the large bottles as you all know. So I did like those. The next thing I have in here is, this is by Foot Logics. This is my Cracked Heel Formula. 
Uh, I get this at the professional store, but I'm sure you could probably get it at a salon that carries it or in store. It will be expensive, but I have to tell you, it is fabulous. It does contain urea. It is. It was originally formulated for diabetics, and it is just a fabulous, fabulous mousse for the foot. It really. I put it on um, every night under other creams. I like to put the mousse on first and then I'll put a foot cream on. But I also like when I'm doing my paraffin uh, pedicures, I like to put this on and then the paraffin over it. So this really deeps in, uh, sinks in deeply. Really, really love this product. The next product I have... Okay. I have two La Roche-Posay products. And I really like them, but I do have little complaints about each one. And it really has nothing to do with the product, it's more the container. I totally understand why the foil container is used, because it is a vitamin C product, but it does crack, or I'm just too aggressive. But it is the La Roche-Posay Redermic C, and this is uh, for daily sensitive skin and the Redermic C for eyes. So I really did like this product, and what happens is because it is vitamin C, when it cracks, it then oxidizes, and um, it's brown and yucky. So, and then for the eye, um, the tip broke off, so you see how it gets nasty? Uh, I won't use it after that, um, but I would get these again. They're both, they are both very good uh, vitamin C products. Excellent. Okay, and then uh, this here I've talked about when I did my essential oil video. Um, I think that everyone, every woman, no matter what age you are, should buy rose hip seed oil. And the reason being is the molecules in it are so small that it actually does penetrate. And it is so, the oil is such a nice oil that it actually dries down. It's like a dry oil, so it doesn't get all over you. I have it on my whole body every single day. And what's nice about rose hip seed oil is it has its own retinoic acid, which is a retinol, which is vitamin A, and it continuously exfoliates my skin. I will put this on immediately when I get out of the shower while my skin is still damp. However, it does have to be refrigerated overnight. So I, what I do is when I'm getting in the shower, I come, I go get it out of the refrigerator, I take it to the shower, I take my shower, I get out, and while my skin is still damp, I massage this onto my whole body, including my neck. I've even used it on my face, and uh, it doesn't clog pores. I get mine from Mountain Rose Herbs. It is certified organic. I buy the eight ounce bottles. I buy a couple at a time. I keep them in the refrigerator. I do have a refrigerator in my spa room. I know, a little over the, the top, but hey, that's how I roll. Um, but anyway, yes, this is really a fabulous, fabulous oil. And now it's, I've been using this for a couple of years, and now it's being talked about by Victoria's Secret models. They're all using it, and they swear by it, and they think it's their anti-ager. And it is true because it is a natural retinoic acid, which is vitamin A, which is the only real cream known to anti-age. Okay, so you might all want to invest in a bottle of the rose hip seed oil. When you go to Mountain Rose Herb, because I've heard people, people have said to me, I can't find it. When you go, they have a search box. Just put rose hip seed oil and it will come up. Okay, but I use it up so quickly that it, I've never had one bottle go bad. Okay, and that's, it's an amber color. It's really a great oil. You should really think about that one. Okay, the next thing I finished up, and I'm a little uh, obsessive with my oral hygiene. Um, I floss, I uh, water pick, I have, I just purchased the new uh, Sonic uh, Air flosser, not to take the place of manual flossing, but in addition, and I also like, I, I buy these little, um, they're called soft picks, by gum and it's the healthy gum and what it is is it's a tiny little 
uh, brush that fits in between each tooth and I put my toothpaste on it and I brush in between my teeth around the gum line and my dentist has said that I'm not doing too much to my teeth and these are fabulous so I know people have opinions on everything but when my dentist tells me that I'm doing an excellent job I have no plaque continue what I'm doing and I tell them everything I do to my teeth uh, they approve it all so I love these now if you live by a Costco this is, you get 240 picks, I think, for $9.99. What are you, out of your mind? <laughs> when I buy these from, I bought these at Target for the longest time. And when I bought them, I think I was paying just about $5 for 50 of them. And I was thinking, this is really a, an expensive habit that I have here. But then I found these at Costco in Florida. And uh, I buy, you know, four or five packs at a time and send them home. Love them. Just love them. Okay, so now I'm going to go through uh, some of the masks that I used for um, the month of January. And like I said, I, I left at least eight masks in Florida because I was there for seven days. And sometimes I do a couple of masks a day. You know, if it's raining or it's cold or it's windy. Or I just, it, I just feel it in my bones that I need to do it. Okay, so I used a cherry antioxidant. I used a snail collagen. I used a cranberry firming mask. These are all martini masks. I love them all. And yes, I will be doing a sale again. I'm good. The sale, I have a video already made for the sale uh, mask when they're going to go on and everything. So you'll see it'll be called mask mask or something like that. I did the detoxify anti uh, detoxify anti spots ginger mask. Oh, I love this one. I just love this one. I also did the chocolate moisture mask, one of my favorites. I did uh, a hyaluronic acid mask. And then for my eyes, I did a Shiseido Benefiance mask. I've been using these for five, six years. I don't know. I've, I've been eye masking forever, ever. Uh, I also, now I found these at Tar, TJ Maxx. And they are the Bamboo Spa Revitalizing Eye Mask. These are actually very nice. They're almost... Um, they have like a rubber consistency to them, so they really adhere nicely. And they were not, uh, they're not expensive because they were at TJ Maxx. And um, I think my friend Kristen sent me a couple of those too, because I was only able to find um, one or two packs of the eye masks. They have facial masks too, so if you see that one in this brand, grab that too. I also used up two of my Estitute Estiderm uh, eye patches. And, of course, I use cream mask and everything like that every day, but I uh, haven't gone through those tubes. That's why they're not in my empties. So that is my empties for January. If you would like to see what is on my face right now, that's where I'm going in this video. Okay? All right. Let's go. <laughs> um, I thought about doing a tutorial, and I just, I don't know how, I, I got to figure out that lighting for the tutorials, okay? Because I really do want to do them, but... I think I've done, in the last month, I think I've done three tutorials and they've all gone in the trash can, okay? All right, so I started out today, uh, I change my primers up all the time depending on what I want. And today I uh, am trying the new Rachel K CC Renew Cream. Now you all know that I did a, a thorough review on the original CC Cream, which I love. And uh, this one here is very, very, very nice. It actually is smoother, so it goes on smoother. It has more goodies in it, so it's more anti-aging. I really, really, really like this product. It does have an SPF of 35. Uh, for me, that's one less step of um, putting actual sunscreen on your skin, okay? Uh, but anyway, it's the Rachel K CC Renew Cream. Started out with that. I have it in the light. You can purchase this from Lisa Lisa D1's blog. I will put her blog, her store link below if you'd like to go and take a look because I think uh, it comes in several colors. <clears throat> and of, of course, you can always ask Lisa questions about it because she's the one selling it. Okay, the next thing I did is I applied my Laura Mercier mineral powder and I am wearing rich vanilla. 
Uh, before that, I did, however, put on my Radiant Cream Concealer by uh, NARS, and it is in Custard. And that, again, is NARS. I really like this one. However, I am only wearing it on the inner part of my eye. I don't actually put it underneath my eye. I put it only where I'm dark, and then I kind of highlight in a V section to try to bring out the center of my face and not my puffy so much. Uh, then I did my Laura Mercier Ritual Bronzer, which I have on. Love it, love it, love it. And I got a wonderful surprise in the mail the other day from my friend Devic. But anyway, I love, love, love the ritual. I, I, I don't know how Laura Mercier can be ignoring all of the requests to bring it back. It is just fabulous, okay? Uh, for blush today, I have on Bare Minerals. And this, I can't see, so I'm going to hold it up for you. And then I'll put the name down when I edit it so I'll know what it is. One thing about these contacts is I can see a distance now, and I can actually sit like this far from a mirror and put my makeup on and not struggle where before I used to have to use my eight time magnifier or my 10 time or my five, whatever I needed for that day. And um, with this, I can't, I mean, I can read uh, things that are large print, but these small print, I can't see them at all. That's what I need my glasses. But I can wear readers with these, like the power of one and C, but I, you know, I didn't have a pair up here. But anyway, it is a beautiful pink. I really, like I said in one of my favorites, I really do like the benef uh, the Bare Minerals blushes on aging skin because they really don't um, accentuate lines or anything, but that is the color of it. It is a pink. Okay. And then I, now my eyes today, I did a little more dramatic, although it's funny because when I look at the videos back, I think, looks like I have no makeup on. I have makeup packed on my face like you wouldn't believe right now. Unbelievable, so it shows up. So I don't know if you'll really be able to see the detail of the eyes, but I went for a very smoky, sultry look. And uh, So for that smoky look, I uh, used a new palette. And... Uh, it is Tom Ford Coco Mirage. Uh, these are beautiful. They are right up my alley. Thank you, Lisa. Um, but just so gorgeous, really, really. But today I have on the, in my crease, I have this color here all over lid. I have this one and just a little bit as an eyeliner, I have that one. I didn't use the white at all today. I've been playing with this many ways. Uh, very, very nice. These colors are so worth it. And the way they go on and the way they blend is just so beautiful. Okay, so um, for the primer, I guess I did that backwards. The primer I'm using today is a discontinued by uh, MAC and it is called Nubile. I love it. It's a flesh tone. Really nice. For the lid area, I did like a little smudging of liner on the top of my eye, which I normally don't do, but I did do that. I think that I'm hitting this button and I'm zooming in and out. <laughs> I am. I have this on my lap and this is, and I'm like zooming in and out. <laughs> Maybe you can't see it, but I could. There we go. Okay. So it's called Bad Girl Bronze, and it is just what it says, a bronze tone. Okay, I put that on the lid, and then the shadows went over. For my waterline, I am using Via Spiga by NARS. I really do love this. It's a beautiful, beautiful brown, rich, rich, rich brown. My waterline, I did something different today that really helps to make brown eyes pop. Now, I don't usually wear a lot of things on the waterline because of my age and it closes my eye out. But today I did. I took the Laura Mercier um, khaki, and these are the caviar sticks. I have the khaki, and I lined my eyes, my waterline with it. And when you line green, brown eyes with green, the brown really comes out in your eye. So that's just a little tip for my friends. Brow I have on Anastasia Ash Brown. And it is the Brow Wiz. Have that on. For a little pop of, well, after I finished my eye, I needed to blend a little bit of pink into it because I was going to be wearing a pink lipstick. So I took the Happy by Physicians formula and I just put a brush in it lightly and I just feathered up right here with a little bit of the pink just to marry my face together. 
And then for my, my eyelash curler, my most favorite in the whole world, and it will be forever, is my Shiseido uh, eyelash curler. I know many people rave about the uh, Shuyuruma, but this, I'm telling you, this eyelash curler right here is the best. And uh, Lancome De Finisil's Dark Brown Mascara. Uh, I w I've been wearing it forever, and I will always wear it. I love it. For my lips, I have Laura Mercier <coughs> Baby Lips <coughs> lined my lips. It's a very, very pale pink. Show you that. Very pale pink. Not so pale. It's, it's got some color, but it's, it's, it's a paler pink. And then this lip here is by Givenchy, and it is, it's called Secret Pink. And it really is a gorgeous pink. It's really, it's, it's coming up too dark there. I don't know why. I must have to set my lights back a little bit. But let me show it to you on my hand, my fingertip. Just really pretty. And I'll put a little more on my lip. And that's it. And that is my face of the day. I hope that you enjoyed this. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. We're anti-aging here. Remember, peeps, be happy. Be healthy. Be beautiful. And most of all, be lovable. Be lovable. It will change your life. I love you all. Bisous, my friends. Bisous.